Hello everybody! Today we are going to read Elma. There once was a herd of elephants. Elephants young, elephants old, elephants tall or fat or thin. Elephants like this, that or the other. All different, all happy and all the same colour. All that is, except Elma. Elma was different. Elma was patchwork. Elma was yellow and orange and red and pink and purple and blue and green and black and white. Elma was not elephant colour. It was Elma who kept the elephants happy. Sometimes he joked with them, the other elephants. Sometimes they would joke with him. But if there was even a little smile, it was usually Elma who had started it. One night, Elma couldn't sleep, for he was thinking and thinking and thinking that he was thinking was and what he was thinking was that he was tired of being different. Whoever heard of a patchwork elephant, he thought, no wonder they laugh at me. In the morning, before the others were really awake, Elma slipped quietly away unnoticed. As he walked through the jungle, Elma met other animals. They always said, good morning, Elma. Each time, Elma smiled and said, good morning. After a long walk, Emma found, Elma found what he was looking for, a large bush, a large bush covered with berries, a large bush covered with elephant colored berries. Elma caught hold of the bush and shook it and shook it and shook it so that the berries fell on the ground. Once the ground was covered in the berries, Elma lay down and rolled over and over and over, this way and that way, and back again, and then he was picked up from bunches of berries and rubbed himself all over, covering himself with the berry juice until there was not wasn't a sign of any yellow or orange or red or pink or blue, purple or blue or green or black or white. When he had finished, Elmer looked like any other elephant. After that, Elmer set off back to the herd. On the way, he passed the other animals again. This time, each one said to him, Good morning, elephant. And each time, Elmer smiled and said, Good morning, pleased that he wasn't recognised. When Elmer rejoined the other elephants, they were all standing quietly. None of them noticed Elmer as he worked his way to the middle of the herd. After a while, Elmer felt that something was wrong. But what? He looked around. Same old jungle. Same old bright sky. Same old rain clouds that were coming over from time to time. And lastly, same old elephants. Elmer looked at them. The elephants were standing absolutely still. Elmer had never seen them so serious before. The more he looked, the more serious. Silent still. Standing elephants, the more he wanted, wanted to laugh. Finally, he couldn't bear it no longer. He lifted his trunk and at the top of his voice shouted, Boo! The elephants jumped and fell all ways, in, all ways in surprise. Oh my gosh and golly, they said. 
and they saw Elma helplessly with laughter. Elma, they said, it must be Elma. Then the other elephants laughing too, as they had never laughed before. As they laughed, the rain clouds burst, and when the rain fell on Elma, his patchwork started to show again. The elephant still laughing as Elma was washed back to normal. Oh, Elma, gasped an old elephant. You've played some good jokes, but this has to be the best, biggest laugh of all. It didn't take you long to show your true colours. We must celebrate this day every year, said other another. This will be Elmer's day. All elephants must decorate themselves and Elmer will decorate himself elephant colour. That is exactly what they elephants do. On one day of the year, they decorate themselves and parade. On that day, if you happen to see an elephant ordinary elephant colour, you will know it must be Elma. Look at all those patterns, aren't they beautiful? Bye!